Hi, I'm Ryan Hamilton from the band People on Vacation. Well, Bowling for Soup um, were and are a way bigger deal than my former band. Uh, we did okay, and uh, I'm very proud of all of that. But um, long story short, Jarrett came to see my old band in Austin, Texas at a festival called South by Southwest. And uh, I leaned over to my old bandmate and said, what the hell is the singer from Bowling for Soup doing here? There's no way he likes this band. But he did. He stayed for the whole show, and he invited us on tour. And um, anyway, we became really great friends really fast, and we were going to write songs for other people. But uh, we liked the songs so much, we kept them for ourselves. Very selfish. But uh, yeah, that's how the band started. Um, I mean, it's tough now because we've grown to love people on vacation so much and it started out as just kind of this let's see what happens and now it's a real band and uh you know now we we write songs Jarrett has songs and he has to go is this a Bowling for Soup song you know and and, and I want to keep it for people on vacation so there's a little bit of that going on but um Really, we just love doing it. One of us has an idea. Um, nobody ever writes a complete song on their own in People on Vacation. Jarrett does a lot of the Bowling for Soup writing on his own. Uh, the songs that I don't steal for People on Vacation. Um, but we'll have an idea and then finish it together. Yeah, I prefer it. I, I wonder, and I don't know if he'd ever say it out loud, uh, just because he's... Uh, such a good person but if, if it bothers Jarrett to play the smaller venues but he seems to love it I love it this is what I'm used to you know I've never played download festival um, so I love it and what's crazy is some of the shows have been sold out some haven't I mean some have been 80 90 people and uh, but the room feels full because it's a tiny room um, but yeah I love it um, the other guys in the band Robin Mickey and Jarrett too it it's so great to be able to interact, just, you know, ask someone, what did you say? And they're right there, and it makes the shows more fun. I love it. I think it's important in today's world, especially with Twitter and Facebook, where you can actually talk to bands that you like. I wish I had that back in the day. And uh, it carries over into the VIP thing, because people can actually say, hey, do you remember I said this on Twitter, or this on Facebook? And you see that person, and... It feels more like you're making friends, and I love that. I think it's important. Yeah, it's uh, I play acoustic guitar, Jarrett plays electric, and then Rob plays bass, Mickey plays drums. Uh, we have some tracks going on in some of the songs. It's kind of cheating, but uh, Jarrett always jokes and says it's the invisible piano player, and he never messes up. But uh, yeah, that's the live setup. It's a, we're, a, we're a band, you know what I mean? It's It's not as rock or pop punk or whatever is Bowling for Soup, but it's definitely not sad bastard music. We're not, we're not going to make anybody cry. Actually, that's not true. We might make people cry. Sure, so we are big supporters of fan-funded projects. We funded this new album on Pledge Music, and uh, if you're not familiar, check it out. It's really cool. Um, so everybody got the album when it was finished on Pledge Music, everyone who pledged to get it the end of last year, I think. But the music business, uh, the way it works is you have to have 30, 60, 90 days out to prepare and go to radio and make a video and all that. So we just kind of had real life happen and you know, some things kind of got in the way and it got delayed a little bit and then a little bit more. And it finally came out about a month ago, yeah. It was, yes. So there was uh, something, a pledge that you could purchase. You could have the album named after you. And uh, we got really lucky, because his name is Tim Powers, and it could have been something terrible. <laughs> Second to last show, it's been incredible. Um, we didn't. We only planned up to this tour, this band did. We were like, well, we released the album, it's doing okay, let's go on tour, let's just see how it goes. And I think that it's gone well enough to be able to justify more tours, and um, Jarrett will go back to Bowling for Soup mode um, for a little bit. I just finished recording a solo album, first one ever. But I really do think People on Vacation is gonna, gonna stay, gonna stick around, and, and we love that. Uh, that's the one. Manchester's my favorite show. I do love Bristol, uh, just the artistic side of that city. Uh, every show's been great, but there's something about Manchester. It gets rowdy and extra drunk every time. 
and there are more people there every time too so yeah i'm gonna say manchester sorry other cities go buy our album it's really good promise